Alright, hello everyone, Freiko here. It's been a while, but we are back with another summoning session, of course, for more Legendary Cloud Merges. Now, to be completely honest, I've kind of fallen off this game uh, recently uh, because ever since Swirlix got, it, got added into Pokemon Go, the Pokemon Mania just crept back into my mind. Much so that I've been playing Pokemon Go daily, I've um, gotten back into finishing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and Let's Go Eevee, which I also didn't finish, and I also played Pokemon Snap and just finished it a few days ago. But yeah, so I don't know... <laughs> oh, why is... I wonder why the text is doing it. Maybe I need to change the settings for the text or something. But yeah, Swirlix. I love Swirlix. I remember during my playthroughs on X and Y, I gave him the gave him the Eviolite, and it was such a beast. Um, I can't remember. I remember using Sweet Kiss a lot, and so. Oh, why is this game going so slow? I remember using Sweet Kiss a lot. I think I would do some sort of defense boosting move, and uh, maybe an attack boosting move as well, and then Swordlix would just Sweet Kiss its way to victory by healing chunk of HP each time it attacked and uh, dealing a massive amount of damage. It was just so good. I never evolved it. Uh, and I definitely enjoy Swirlix a lot more than his evolution, whose name I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, back to Fire Emblem. <laughs> when I heard that Ash... Oh, no, I don't... When I heard that Ashura was this month's Mythic, I was honestly underwhelmed because I haven't played any of the Radiant games, so I don't know her very well. And I was also hoping that we would get Anankos. And then when I saw her fodder, it wasn't great, but then um, I thought about how she could potentially be very useful in Arena when it comes to getting rid of the Panic status. And so I wouldn't mind if I got maybe one or two copies of her. But truly, our goal is to get three merges for Claude out of this banner. There's no way I can get max merges on him with only about 400 orbs. So I'm happy with three, because then that would mean that I would only need three more the next time he comes around. But yeah, I did the summon simulation so many times. I used to have 500 orbs actually, but then I got last minute baited into getting Shanna from the <laughs> Bridal Banner. Because, I mean truly, I think merges are great and all, but it's a lot more fun when you get a new skill on a unit that you use a lot. And I really wanted that Far Trace skill for Brave Claude. And I think my orbs were... I think orbs are worth it more if you get a skill rather than just a merge for a few stats. I think, well, however, Legendary Cloud is a different story because I want max merges for him because I have the scoring. And, and aside from that, of course, he's my favorite unit in the whole game. But um, he'll be back. And so I thought, you know, maybe if I, if I spend a little bit to get um, to get that far trace, it'll, it'll be more fun than getting an extra merge uh, on Legendary Claude. And so, and if we get a Corin, that's cool too. But uh, I am truly hoping for three brave, three Legendary Claudes. Sorry, I had to change the settings on the text really quick. I didn't know that. What it was doing was its default setting, so I went in and changed it, but anyway. Yeah, I think merges are really overrated. Like, yes, um... Like, people make fun of that Summer Tome that grants plus one attack and speed. But that's basically what you're doing when you go for, like, the ninth merge for a unit. Unless you're going for scoring, like, um... Plus ten isn't that great on, like... When it comes to orbs, like, on on 5-star exclusive units. Because if, I mean, if it's a 4-star unit, sure, you I mean, you just waste a few feathers and, you know, they'll, you'll eventually get 
to your plus 10 4 star just by summoning. But uh, a legendary hero or, or um, even just a regular 5 star exclusive unit, getting them to plus 10, not even for scoring, is is kind of... I mean, I know it, it's, it looks great, and it probably feels kind of satisfying to see that number 10, but I think that summoning for other things are more fun. And that's the thought that I kind of went with when I when I was uh, debating whether or not to pull for for Far Trace. I got Niles, which is a plus ten unit I have. But anyway, during my last summoning session for Legendary Claude, I opened up my um, people submitted questions. I asked if you have a question, go ahead and submit it. And so the first one is from Sarcel. And Sarcel says, Congrats on plus four, Claude. It's been 83 orbs for me, and I still haven't gotten any five stars yet. Oh, yes. Sarcel, she spent so many orbs just for one copy, I think. She spent, like, almost a thousand orbs, if I'm not mistaken, or 500 orbs. Either way, I think anything over 300 orbs for one copy... Why is the text still doing that? That's so weird. Anything over 300 orbs for one copy, I think it's outrageous. I really think that legendary and mythic banners should be sparkable. Like, even if the spark is like 50 instead of 40 for typical banners, or even 60, I just think that spending that many orbs and still not being able to get the unit you want is just wrong. And it's... It's so demoralizing, it's so defeating, I think. Like, if I were to spend all my 400 orbs and not get a single copy of Claude, like, I would be so disappointed. And it's a huge possibility, and that's what I don't like. Like, what's the harm in letting a spark on these banners? I don't think it would wreck the game, because you still have to spend a lot of orbs, but at least you have a guaranteed copy of the unit. Anyway, uh, that wasn't what she asked. <laughs> Her question was, let's see, my question is, do you have any 4-star special demote heroes that you would like to plus 10? And I actually have a couple. My first one is Celica, the original Celica with the Tome. I have her at plus 4, I think, and, um, and I think she has aged really well up to this day, and I like to run her with... Fury? I think I have her with Fury. I might give her Fury 4 if I ever get her to plus 10. Or plus 9, rather. <laughs> and um, and give her another Brazen skill in her C slot. Because she is so good. She hits so hard whenever she gets in Brazen range. And her skill, uh, I mean her Tome, along with Fury, help her get there after one round of combat. So, she's my first one. Another one is... Ooh. Let's go for blue. Another one I would like to plus 10 is Nino. The Flying Nino. And that's only because I had so many uh, free Ninos on, on us. Like, free summons, I would get Nino. Or even as a 4-star special as of late, I've gotten Nino also on free summons. Um, so, I wouldn't... And, and she is such a good unit. She is deceptively strong with her... I think she gets true damage out of speed. So that would be pretty cool to get her plus 10. And uh, the third one, I said I had a couple, but actually at three. Uh, the third one is Leaf. I got him, I got so many merges on him when I was pulling for for Corrin when they shared a banner with Odin and I got him to plus five. And then down the line, I got another merge and then with the Resplendent releasing I got another merge so now I'm at plus seven and um, he scores very well in arena thanks to his B skill so if I get him to plus 10 somehow um, I'll definitely give him uh, I'll feed my Azelle that I randomly pulled to him so that way he can score well in arena and I can maybe feed him some really juicy skills as well but yeah I don't have a lot of um, ambition towards these four-star special units but some one that I would like to get is 
Bohinoka, because I think I have her at minus attack, and I would love to patch that up. Now... Ah, gosh, come on, luck. It's been... how many orbs have I spent, and still no mythic or legendary hero? Let's see. Come on. We are... oh, we haven't even spent a hundred orbs, so I guess that's fair. The next question comes from Luis Firebada, <laughs> and he asks, "Thanks for the relaxing. I'm sorry. Thanks for the relaxing summoning video. Used it to help me finish assignments. Well, you're welcome. Anyhow, my question is: If Claude had a harmonic pairing, who would you choose for his partner? Oh, we got Freya. I don't have Freya yet, so I guess this is nice." Let's see. What are your IVs? Ooh, we get a light blessing. Plus HP minus res. I guess it's not the best. But hey, at least I have her for her bonus week. The love my brother and I feel is deeper than most siblings. Okay, cool. <laughs> Many people think that her brother might be coming in as our sparkable mythic in the halfway banner but I don't know at this point I don't think he's getting into the game unless it's um, in a duo with her he didn't even have a weapon um, in the game so I don't I don't see it happening but yes green is our second color to pull because um, I would love to get Dadu or Triandra <laughs> actually Freya was the one I least wanted out of the green but um, going forward, I hope we don't get her anymore. <laughs> One's enough. Thanks. Anyway, the question asked, if Claude had a harmonic pairing, who would you choose for his partner? Person personally, I'd choose Ike or Hector, he says. Cool, I think that would be pretty interesting to have Ike or Hector with Claude. However, I do think that if Claude were to be paired with Hector or Ike, either Hector or Ike would be the primary unit. Because I think both of them are more popular than Claude is. Now to answer your question, I think he could be paired with Innes. Since they're kind of very different very different noble very different nobles. Innes is very uh, I guess uptight, very classic sometimes, kind of elitist sometimes. And kind of rude actually sometimes, and he looks down to people and Claude is the opposite of that he sees people as equals he is all about you know people equality I guess oh yes we get a Linhart I actually would love to plus 10 Linhart so yes give me more Linharts so I think it would be interesting to have Claude pair with Innes to see what kind of dialogue they would have about nobility and and the classes in their worlds and I think Claude is popular enough to be the primary unit, which would be pretty sweet. And I think if they were to be a harmonic unit, I think they would be, yes, another Linhart. I think I'm at plus three currently. Plus two or plus three. And with these two, I would be at plus five, so. Five more Linharts, please. So if they were a harmonic pair, Innes and Claude, I think they would be. I think it would be neat to have them in groom, but that's not going to happen because IS loves to give us females in do, in harmonic pairings. Mercedes. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if we'll ever get a harmonic male unit. I'm sure we'll get another male duo, like male and male duo. And I'm suspecting we'll get Zelgius and Ike this summer. I think that would be pretty cool. Another harmonic pairing that I think could happen with Claude is Shinon. A another antithesis character to Claude. Shinon is infamous for being very, I guess, racist. I haven't played the the Radiant game, so I don't really know everything about Shinon. But I hear that people really hate him because he's racist. And Claude is like the opposite of that as well. So I think there, a conversation between both of them would be pretty interesting. 
And um, I think I could see them in a, maybe a ninja banner, if ever. IS decides to give us a harmonic mill pairing. I think if Shinon and Claude get it, it would be in a pirate banner. I think that would be pretty cool. Pirate Claude? Hell yeah. Bring it on. And um, I actually have another one. I think Joshua would be another interesting pairing, seeing as uh, how they're both kind of schemey and cunning. And I think they would be pretty cool on a ninja banner. Yeah. I think that's my answer for harmonic pairing. Now, you didn't ask, but um, I was also thinking about duo pairings. Like, if Claude ever got a duo, I think it would be with Judith. Because I don't, I don't see them putting Judith in the game. I don't... Well, I guess we got Guinevere and she's not really playable. She is, but she isn't. Um, well, I guess neither is Sothis and we got her in the game as well. She even got a Christmas Alt. But, I mean, she's Judith is not as popular as Sothis, right? <laughs> so I don't think Judith's going to get into the game unless she's a Grell unit or or in a duo unit with Claude. And I think a summer alt with Claude and Judith would be pretty cool. They could even have a dialogue with her teasing him, calling him boy, like in the game. That would be pretty cool. Plus, I'm sure that they would make her very fan y Speaking of fan service, another character that I think they may pair him up with a duo, and of course it makes a lot of sense, is Hilda. And um, I think they would pair him up with Hilda if it were something like a dancer banner, which I think I think Claude's gonna get a dancing alt. Uh, if we don't get a summer Claude or a Halloween Claude, I think we're gonna get a dancer Claude. It would be so cool. I mean, some of his like quotes. One of his quotes is, um, "Ooh, it's you know." I was like, "Who is that?" One of his quotes is, uh, "Crit quotes is want to dance." So I think I think they're gonna make him a dancer. Would be pretty cool if he got a. Uh, a dance that grants Fallen Star to the target or something like that. To self and the target, I think that would be pretty neat. Or if he's a duo hero, he could grant uh, Fallen Star to adjacent allies or something. That would be pretty awesome. Another character that I think he could get a duo with is Lysithia. Because, of course, she got second place uh, last year in ZYL. So I think Lysithia and Claude could be a duo, especially for Halloween. That way they can kind of recreate the whole um, support, the, the support in which Claude teased her and pretended, uh, said something about, ooh, don't let the ghosts get you out at night in the dark. I think that would be freaking hilarious. No, it's not hilarious is how. Are we already halfway down our stash? No, we've only spent 150 orbs. When we've only gotten a mythic hero that I didn't want. So come on, give me those clods. Where are they? But yeah, those are the only questions I think I had. Um, I don't know that people watched long enough to know that you can ask questions. <laughs> But yeah, what do you think, uh, Claude fans? What harmonic pairing or what duo pairing can you imagine Claude having in the future? I mentioned earlier that I was kind of uh, falling out of this game, and I think one of the reasons is like I'm already like I only play for orbs right now. Like I feel like. Like, I've gotten into Vault of Heaven and I've gotten to the top tier a few times, and that felt great. But, um, after the second time, it wasn't, it didn't feel as rewarding, and I think a part of the problem is that the rewards, like, I never, I have tons of grills, and I have tons of flowers, and I have tons of, what else do they give you, stones and fruits? Like, I don't need any more resources. Any of those re- Ooh, close counter, yes! 
Now I can give close counter to... Oh, who would I give it to? I don't even know who I would give it to, but it's nice to have, just in case I need it. And dragon flowers too. Well, I already have so many, but still. What does it give me, like, eight dragon flowers? <laughs> but yeah, I think they need to put orbs into Aether Raids. I know that's something people really didn't want when the mode was introduced, but at this point, I think we all want more orbs out of all the game modes. Like, I don't think there's any harm in giving us more orbs through different game modes, like maybe Mjolnir Strike could give us some orbs. Or you know what would be awesome? If you reach, um, if you stay in the vault, if you make it, you no, know, yeah, if you stay in the vault, if you get a Celestial Stone, because, come on, those things aren't that good. Oh, we got Corrin. <laughs> <laughs> Not the here I want it the most out of the colorless pool, but but hey, this is a pretty good circle. What's your plus attack? I think I have a plus speed one. I don't know, but cool, I guess. <sighs> We're almost halfway down our stash, and we haven't gotten Claude yet. But I will not lose hope. The knight is still young. Yes, I say night, but it's when it's like 2 a.m. <sighs> yeah, I think this game needs to give us more orbs. And if you are sparking just to get the stones, don't. It really takes up a lot less currency I guess like think about it in money money wise like if you are maybe you're you're free to play and if you're just free to play and you spark for the things you like and want then great but if you're not free to play and you are spending money to buy orbs to summon and spark like it's cheaper to just to get the form of soul if that's what you're going for so I think the most enticing thing to me is the red dragon flowers and the fruit. But whenever I get enough celestial stones, whenever it happens, it'll happen. I'm not I'm in no hurry. Yes, another Linhart. <laughs> Watch me get to plus ten Linhart and not get any clods. <laughs> you know, I don't know that I would be completely devastated. But yes, I will be definitely somewhat devastated, somewhat disappointed. But hey, you know, like I mentioned earlier, merges are not everything. If you're like plus one, that's the most important merge. But yes, please give me more Claude merges. I'm not saying no, game. Let's see, am I... Did the rates go up yet? 8%. Mm -mm. Now, the, the orb color that I'm avoiding the most is red, because I don't care for any of the heroes, I already have a Zell. And in blue, I guess... Oh, we got a Shara! Cool. I actually have not heard any of her voice lines. Child of another world, I am a Shara. If you seek order and balance, I vow to apply my judgment to fear. Let's see... What do you have to say? Oh, plus speed minus attack. Ah. Uh. has faith in people. She is an imperfection in my being. <laughs> what? Having faith in people is an imperfection? I think I need more context, because that sounds awful. Tell me, do you believe that people can change? Yes, people do change. I've changed. All this pointless flailing. I need no further evidence of your kind's imperfections. Okay. Is she speaking slowly because the game is slow, or is that how slow her lines are? Let's do one more. I am restraint, order, stability, history, resolution. I am a Shara. Cool. 
Let's see her art. Oh, she looks so cool. She looks great. That looks just like Yoon's thing. Uh, maybe they're related somehow. I love that. That look on her face is like... Reminds me kind of the Mila freakout scene in Shadows of Valentia. <laughs> but better. Mila looked kind of... Kind of funny sometimes. Oh! That scratch on her very toned tummy. Wow, this is such a nice, very nicely drawn hero. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's see if there's another mythic Ashera or legendary Claude, hopefully. Come on, Claude. I know I said merges aren't important, but what am I doing here if not getting more merges for you? That's not Claude. <laughs> okay. Are all a Fire Emblem characters with all, are all male Fire Emblem characters with purple hair either ambiguously gay or gay? Like Leon, or Leon, I think, is probably ambiguously gay. And Leon is gay. And Yuri is bisexual. So I wonder what. Why the purple? I don't know. So now we're halfway down with our orbs. Oof. Come on, Claude. Nope. Is it at Lin Linhard at least? Nope. Oh. Hmm. So I got these this trail mix that has like cocoa beans or what are they called? Cacao beans? Oh, they're so good. They're covered in, like, dark chocolate. Oh, wait, this isn't a bean. This is, like, a raisin. I guess there's a mix of things. And it's, like, my new obsession. Like, I just eat, like, three. And I'm, like, awake for, like, a long time. Anyway, <laughs> that's not very interesting. That's the boring fact of the day. There you go, Kyo. <laughs> Your boring fact of the day. Oh. oh, if you're going to be a 5-star, please be to do. <laughs> Close, but no. I remember a long time ago when they added Aether Raids. Ooh, another Linhart! Yes! Now I'm what at plus six? Plus six or plus seven? <laughs> I only need three more Linharts and I'm I'm gonna build a tanky Linhart. I really like the Linhart in the game. Well, as a unit, he's kind of forgettable, but as a support with Dorothea, which is one of my favorite characters in the game. He was great. He was pretty funny. Quite witty. And um, I like how he made her feel better when people were talking bad about her. A very good friend. Ooh, three. Could this be triple Claude? Highly unlikely. Actually, when I was doing the summon simulators, Whenever gave me three or more orbs in one circle, they were all three stars. Just about always. See, three star number one. Just watch, I'm calling it. Watch it be three star number two. Yeah. 
And then three star number three. <laughs> There it is. See, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I would have been so happy if I was proved wrong, but I was not. This is gonna be a five star. I know it because I'm not interested in the rest of the circle. It's gonna be this. I will be so happy if it is, if it's true. Please be Claude. Please be Claude. Oh. Okay. Is uh Jafar? Angel of Death. Well I wasn't wrong, it's a five star. Oh no. Now I'm below two hundred. Oh this one could also be it. <laughs> not anyway I think our next new heroes banner is going to be not and some shadows of Valentia units or fates I think we haven't gotten a fates unit since oh wait no I think we got fates in in spring didn't we yeah but the summer banner, I think either summer one or summer two is going to be three houses. Like there's no way they won't. Like I remember in the first couple years in Fire Emblem Heroes, we got Fates back to back. We got Fates summer two of year one, and we got Fates summer two of year two. So I don't think it's out of the question to get three houses sometime this summer. Now who will it be? Mm. Well, I guess since we didn't get Claude in the Fallen banner, but we got the other two lords, it could be Claude. But I kind of hope not, because I think I'll only get a, oh, I'll only earn about 300 orbs by the time both of those banners appear. So, like I said earlier, I'd rather have a Dancing Claude. I think that would be pretty sweet. Latchesses. Man, this is such a bummer. I feel like I should be angrier, <laughs> but I'm not as angry as I should be. I don't know. This is getting kind of disappointing, but it's... I don't know. I feel like I should care more. I do care, and I am... Maybe it's sleeping, seeping in kind of slowly. Oh, another three star. I'm at 9%. Which is still not very high if you think about it. 9% divided by 12. That's how it works, right? Your 9% chance is divided by the 12 units. So I don't even have a 1% chance to get him. The Hurricane. I wonder why the text is doing that. Does anybody know? Anyway, I've fallen off the game so much, I've... I don't know, I've considered dropping it altogether. And the summoning session is <laughs> not helping me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I even didn't play for like a whole day. And it was kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm like developing some sort of like maybe too much of an attachment to this game. But like whenever things go wrong or I don't get what I want, like I feel less inclined to play. So it's kind of a good thing when something like this is happening. And whenever everything is going great and I get super lucky. Like, it's great because things went well, but it's also 
Like, I feel more hooked on playing this game. So I guess either either way is a win and a lose. But of course, right now I would rather win. <laughs> Please give me Claude. Now I seriously doubt we're going to meet our goal for getting three of them. Now, I, now that I'm at 116 orbs. 10% focus. That's still not even a 1% chance of getting it. But yeah, these banners should be sparkable. Ooh. I guess if anything, I'm, I may get out of this with a plus 10 Lin heart. <sighs> Forest. A similar energy to Linhart. But I really like a forest. The idea of and like enjoying wearing whatever you want to wear, despite what people might think, is is super nice. Like it's, I remember it makes me think of the whole Harry Styles wearing a dress, like making the statement that clothes are not our gender. I mean, clothes are an expression of what we want to portray, and. Like, it doesn't make someone less manly, like, someone could have, like, a big chest, hairy chest, and wear a dress, and it doesn't make them less masculine than... <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't know where that thought was going. I think my mind is leaving me. It's starting to get really... I'm starting to get kind of tired. <laughs> Come on, Claude, wake me up. Hmm. These cacao beans, or whatever beans are not really doing their job. Mmm, this was a good one. Yeah, never mind. Mmm, this is good. Priscilla. Oh, I just noticed that you can see, kind of see her armpit through her thing. I bet they did that on purpose. I know there's a group of people out there. That's, they're all for that. Okay, now I'm just hoping for one Claude. Please, just give me at least one. Then that means I'll have to get five during the next time he comes back if I want him at max merges. Maybe I shouldn't have talked all that smack about merging. I mean, it's not its not a lie. But maybe if I feel that way about it, I shouldn't be summoning. Mm, 10.5%. Come on, be this one. Nope. Latchises. Aw, oh, man. Eighty-nine orbs left. Oh, come on. Double Claude. If we get double Claude, I might just spend the rest of my orbs after all. Actually, no. You know what? Or, I don't know. I don't know how I'll feel about it. Oh, it's a three star. Niles. I might just make another plus ten Niles. Come on. I am... Manifesting Claude right now. Manifest. That's not Claude. <laughs> nope. How many five stars have we even gotten? Three? Oof. Feels bad, man.
Come on, be here. Oh, it's Saizo. Saizo needs an alt. Give us Summer Saizo. Summer Saizo would be cool. Or Duo Saizo with his brother. 75 orbs. Oof. <sighs> At least we got two new units we didn't have. And I suppose that's going to be more advantageous during their Aetherade seasons, but if only Aetherades also give us orbs. I feel like this game does not give us enough orbs. Like 300 orbs a month. Oh come on, double clawed right here. If we get two clods, I'll only need four next time. Leone vibes though. I can't believe Leone is the last of the students to get into the game. Well, I guess she's... A lot of people don't like her. Maybe that's why. I like Leone. And Manuela's the only other playable female character not in the game yet. Which is strange, I thought she'd be more popular than some of the other characters that are already in the game. I think Manuela could be a, a character that gets uh, stuck in alt limbo for, for a while. Whoops. Lena. Wow, this is worse than any of the simulators I did. I did like, I don't even know, countless simulators when I dropped to 400 or for 300-ish uh, orbs. I always got at least one Claude before I was this, this low. And most of the times I would get two or three. So, this is bad, man. Feels bad. How many orbs do we have? Oof. 51 orbs. It would be a miracle, and that would be all for, like, a circle with, like, four colorless stones. And if three of them are clawed, that would be fantastic. <laughs> that would be so wild, but it would be so fantastic. Yeah. Sarah is like laughing like ha 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 you have not gotten a single claw during this session but instead you got me three times instead I think I got her like three times the third time she pops up oof a three star mercy have mercy on my orbs and let Claude appear 42 orbs. Eek. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this here. Come on. Come on, game. Let it be my lucky time. Lucky moment. Ah, give me a clutch moment, game. Come on. Yes, the smoke. Yes! Okay, yes. Keep them coming. Awesome. All right. Oh, just seeing him makes me feel so much better. Just seeing into his eyes <laughs> makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel calm. It makes me feel like everything is going to be fine. Let's see, what is this one? The smoke? Okay. Linhart. Oh, that's the final Linhart, I think. <laughs> wow, okay. I have the feathers. 
Though I need to make sure I have enough for Innes. I think he's coming in uh, next week, if I'm not mistaken. Not this week, but the following week. So, I mean, I need to make sure I have enough feathers for him when he appears. Okay, the smoke, come on. Double clawed. Double clawed in one circle, please, game. Oh, it's an orn. Ah. Uh. Oh well. Let's see what nature you were. Minus attack plus defense, doesn't matter. I wanna know more and more about you. Um not in a creepy way, I just find you intriguing. Cool. Well since percentages don't matter, and I don't want any reds, we're gonna just blow the last twenty-nine orbs. See if we get lucky. Oof. I'm glad they finally gave us those five five orbs from Ponds of Loki. Three star. Mm. Echidna. Okay, a full circle of colorless. Actually, whenever that happens, most of them are three stars, so never mind. You know, at least we got potentially plus 10 Lin Heart, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what nature to have. Minus, uh, plus attack, plus defense, or plus speed. Must be one of those, right? One of those must be the best one. I'm also kind of disappointed that we didn't get... Oh, well, we did get a, a 5-star special, never mind. I would be hoping it would would have been um, Hinoka. So that way I could get rid of her Bane. I think she has an attack Bane, which is very unfortunate. Come on, Claude. One more time. what 406 orbs I think come on two oh just one mm. we only got one of each colorless character um, focus unit and a Freya I guess in 406 orbs it's not the worst thing in the world So, I guess since I only got one Claude, well, I guess, you know what, why not? Let's try, maybe we'll get a Clutch Summon. Oh my god. No way. No way. Which one should I get? Well, my mouse is already on this one, so let's try that one. Of course they would do that. No, my dreams. Well. Hello everyone. Freko here, and today I will be making a Claude-inspired Cresta Regan upside down pineapple cake. Whoa, that's weird. All right. <laughs> ah. How did that even happen? Yes, I need a thief to <laughs> steal my way into victory.
Yes! I guess this means it was worth, worth it. What are you? Plus HP, but that's not a big deal. All right, I think we might call it quits right after this. Yep, for sure. Merlinus. Okay. Should I go crazy and go for one more? Nah. So if I'm at four, plus four, that means I need... I got two more. Four, five, six. So I need four more. Yeah, who's he gonna share with next anyway? Let me check really quick. September. So we don't know who we will be sharing with next time. Hmm. Corn is coming in November. Yeah, I think we're going to call it. Because if Claude is coming back in September, is that a legendary month? Let's see. It's another mythic month, so chances are he, he will ch share with another mythic. So I think that could be fun and exciting, and maybe by then I'll have more orbs to contribute to this game. So this was kind of devastating. <laughs> let me know how your summons went in the comments, and if you have any questions for my next session, let me know. I, I feel like this one did run a bit long. Um, longer than I expected it to go. Alright, my name's Freko, and I wish you the best of luck on this banner, and I'll see you next time. Bye!